no. And we're opening it up here into game one. And it's, we're saying uh, Link Lucina versus Wolf Roy. Let's see what kind of action. Uh, and we're saying the red team's probably primed to be one of the top contenders for the doubles event as well. Yeah, def this is definitely another team that you can see in top three without question. And, you know, at playing Link against these two, it's pretty good walling out option. The problem is he's throwing out a lot of hitboxes a little bit too quickly on reaction. Right. Like, he, he have to play a little patient against people such as Mr. R and Tweak. They're going to be anticipating you doing that, trying to bait out those aggressive options very often. And yeah, it looks like they're just have, blue team's having a little bit of trouble getting the wheels turning. The red team already racking up huge amounts of damage. Link's in big trouble. Yeah, they, them is also, I, I assume that's attack. Uh, it's actually able to get the Force Master on the ledge and is doing a pretty good job of setting up the, not only keeping his teammates safe, or yeah, keeping have, their teammates safe, yeah, but, but the they, fact they that. They had safety control just a little bit and started to make up some ground, but yeah, as soon as we say that, red team's got the stage control back and it's back to business as usual. Yeah, I do like the play out of Lucina, but you saw Mr. R just, the moment he saw the opening from uh, Syria, went and immediately stuffed out the, uh, the aggressive play and two early of jumps. Like, w once you start doing that too much against Red Team, mm -hmm. they're going to hunt out those jumps, and they're doing it accordingly. And, yeah, Mr. R looking like a monster hitting both players on the blue team. and But a good uh, counter from Lucina coming out. And he has Mr. R a little bit on the ropes. He's just got to make sure that they're able to take a stock pretty yeah. soon before he gets out of, too far out of hand. And, and meanwhile, Tweak also doing a great job of keeping ledge control. Like, the, he's he's doing a good job of separating the two so they don't have an opportunity to get team combos. And they're just taking just immediate forward smash as soon as the fourth throw came out. He was in the scramble with Lucina and still paid attention to that. A very good presence of mind and awareness on his part. You know, as you're saying, he's in the middle of a scramble. And for somehow, he knew he was going to get the grab, and somehow he knew that throw was going to happen again. We're talking about that presence of mind and awareness these top players they have, and that's the difference between being ahead and being behind in these matches. Exactly. You saw that both of them, they didn't even move. They stayed in position to cover any type of approach coming in from the blue team. Both of them were right on top of each other and forced to miss input. And now you're looking at a situation where they finally got a point on the board, but it's very far behind. Yeah, they got a lot of ground to cover. It's not quite out of it yet. If Lucina can hold on to her stock and really make it happen, um, they, they have a shot at it, but as soon as we say that, they drop the stock. You already know how it works. The moment <laughs> we say, all right, as long as they hold on to never mind, it's gone. And, you know, part of that is because the top players, they know that too. It's like, well, if we knock out this Lucina stock, they're down to their finals, and we're right in there in the driver's seat. I mean, that's the key to top players. They actually just supersonic hearing, and they yeah. can hear, it's like, oh, wait, that's the game plan? No, the red team has been doing an excellent job of just keeping them from getting anything really going. Like, the moment the bleeding starts at anybody, they have been, they're quick to run away. But Tweak is just, this whole stock is not taking a single percent. He is not getting opened up at all. Yeah, absolutely fearless in the, even in the double team. He had a 2v1 and just came out out smashing both of them. Caught both players by surprise. Gets that up there and it looks like that's all she wrote for the blue team. I just barely missing the forward smash too. Yeah. That would have gotten the kill, but you're three stocks behind, fresh stocks too. He's doing a good job. He's holding ground, but oh, um, <laughs> um, oh my God! Almost got the the not smash attack charge bait, and just the... jumped into it again. Anyways, like yeah, look, the titanium set that you're holding uh, on you to be willing to jump and charge neutral B like that, I uh, give you some praise, but um, don't do it again. That's not yeah. the, that's that's not a, a way to live. Be, be, take care of yourself. Don't do that. <laughs> It just, it just seems like a magnet. Someone charges a smash attack or charges one of those, you know, the neutral specials or even the charge shots from the projectile characters. Everybody wants to jump into it for some reason. Like, no, don't do that. Stay away. It's, it's, it's not a good thing. Stay away. Especially when you have Tweak who's sitting back. You already yeah. saw that Tweak's like, all right, I'm going to wait for you to go for it. Like, you're going to try and you're gonna try and punish this. So maybe he was thinking, all right, they probably assume that I'm not going to go after Mr. R. Right. But they have multiple options coverage. Uh, and that was something that the... Blue team really didn't get going. There right. was not a point in time when they separated Mr. R and Tweak long enough that they were able to get good option coverage. They right. just kept getting blitzed, and there was a couple of miscues of hitting each other too. So hopefully they can clean that up in this one. I think they'll be able to, let's see what adjustments they're overall able to make. Uh, they are actually looking pretty clean coming out until, as you said, you know, it started going more from that 2v1 situation into that 1v1. Um, I thought I saw, was Town of City the, uh, the level pick? I think they're trying to get there. Yeah, yeah Town of City. Actually, I kind of like this because they were getting called out on jumps a lot. They got anti there very often. So not only do you get a little bit more room to run away and hide, if you could ever get away from Mr. R, uh, it, it gives you a little bit more survivability off the top. Now they're forced to edge guard you. And yeah, Tweak looking like a monster, just carrying people across the stage. Saying, I'm playing Wolf. This character's pretty good. I do not care what you're doing. I'm going to hit you for it. 
A little, a little love tap coming out from there from Mr. R right there. Just reminding to make like, hey, this is my spot on the stage. <laughs> they see you, and you see right there, a lot of times teams will end up uh, both staying to try and get that blood on the left. But Tweak decided, all right, you know what? This is yours. I'm going to go get the other side and keep them separated. They haven't been able to get a point in time where they've made us feel that scared. Right. And they're not really able to leverage the 2v1s. It's just been 1v1 all day. And as we're saying, the 1v1 situations really favor those favorites in doubles play. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to read potentially a spot dodge from they, that, uh, they them to get a kill in there. But again, Tweak finally going down a little bit early this time, but the consistency of survivability has been on the red team so far. I do like the way Lucina's defense has improved so far in this next game, though. Yeah, just looking more comfortable with the clear open spaces provided by Town & City. Blue team actually making a little bit of a, a run at it and keeping it fairly competitive so far in the early goings of the match. And yeah, you see right there, that was a big opening for the red team. They saw that there was an opportunity. No hard punish, unfortunately. That could have been an F-Smash punish on that carry, and that could have put a point on the board. But good, but good work coming out from Lucina, taking the stock, and Blue Team's about a stock behind, but it's definitely within striking distance. It's, yeah, the stage pick is definitely looking a lot better, as well as the overall patient play from the Blue Team. Seems like they're trying to stay a little bit more grounded, because they were getting into here a lot. It, it's looking a little bit better for them so far in this game. If they could get some of these edge guards they're looking for, they might be able to get it back into it. And they're going back into a tweak. Just looking so unstoppable as it comes up with an up tilt, picks up that stock, and unfortunately Link is out of the match already. Uh, doesn't share stock, so now it's going to come down to Lucina holding on for dear life. Which might be a little bit of trouble just because, you know, Lucina has been really the MVP of the blue team, putting in so much work. Yeah, but the last thing you want to do is, oh, yeah, oh, that's unfortunate no. if you don't get that tech. Yet another tech and decided to go for an air dodge instead. And that's going to be the stock. That was an early kill, too, as well. So they're going to lose the real estate they had from that share stock. That's a tough situation just because, you know, no matter what, even if they, the link up beat, Mr. R is going to throw out a counter and they were done, no matter Mr. what. Plus being a stock up like that, the fact that you can consistently just keep edge guarding, that's going to turn out to a bad spot. Mr. R and Tweaker to clean it up. Yeah, but good 2 0 coming out for Tweak and Mr. R. Good job all around. You, know, you had the blue team. They were putting up a pretty pretty decent fight overall. Coming in, they're like, oh, they're, they're setting up for a picture. They met their favorite uh, their, their favorite celebrities. See, that, that's awesome. Like, the, yeah. the fact that, you know, they, they went in. They did improve in game two. I, right. I was very happy to see some of the defensive changes they had. But at the end of it all, they're not getting really mad about it. It's like, hey, we get to take a picture with our favorite, uh, with some of our favorite players. That's really nice. Also, um, in case any of you don't happen to know who player four is. I want you to play a game throughout the day. The game is find player four. 